time. Swivel time. That's right. <laughs> he wanted a part of that. <laughs> That's right. See those swivels go? It makes a girl giggle. What can I say? So we're going to break down the footwork. First, leaders, I want you to get comfortable. Give me a little emphasis with your right foot. Notice my toe. It twists in. Twists in. Doesn't matter what angle I'm showing it to you from, I'm still putting my toe in. Then the back foot is going to open at the same time that the front foot opens. So I have knees in, knees out. Knees in, knees out. The only difference is the fact that my back foot, I stay on the ball of my foot, and the front foot, I keep it flat footed. Flat foot, ball of foot, flat foot, ball of foot. Knees out, knees in. Knees out, knees in. Knees out, knees in. And you can start having a party here. Yay! Now let's bring it over to the follows for swivel time. Hi, swivel time. So when we do this, you want to change your weight between your right and your left foot. Um, swivels, if I was to stay centered, I would go up onto my toes, and then I would bend my knees slightly, and then I would want to start twisting on the ground. I make sure that my hips are going back and forth. From here, I'd like to quiet my shoulders, so actually it's a little bit of, oh uh, my goodness, I'm going to isolate. From here, I want to make sure that I've stepped right, left, right, left, right, left with this. And every time I do this, if I'm wearing a skirt, I want to get a little bit of my booty into it so that my skirt goes swish, swish, swish. From here, I only know my footwork because my leader has led it. Welcome back, Kevin. Let's take hands. So from open position leaders, I put that right foot forward and I kind of squat into it a little bit. So I'm bending both knees. And notice they're loaded. I have my knees in. While Joe doesn't know where she is because I didn't have previous footwork led. Fine. I know, I'll I know. I'm so helpless without him. She's so demanding. So now that Joe knows what foot she's on, we can start. So I'm going to use this left hand. I'm kind of going to go out, in, out, in. It's a little side to side motion. Boom. Ah, and I'm going to hold my step, anchor step, point. Step, 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 step. I make sure to throw um, and pull from my obliques. So throw your hips, pull your obliques, and get that skirt moving. So you notice, leaders, that my motion has an anchored elbow, and my forearm moves back and forth. It's not huge. It's not super tiny. It's just kind of casual. It has enough motion to suggest for my follow to add these swivels in. Be suggestive, but not too suggestive. So once you finish the swivels and you're in open position, leaders, you should be on your right foot. Follows, that means you should be on your left foot. And you can just lead a rock step right away. A rock step, step, step. And you can do whatever you want from step. that rock step. Again, that's one of the key elements here is out of a rock step, you're going to lead into your next movement. So speaking about how to get out of it, how do we get into it? Well, of course, I'll show you how to get into it. All right. So once you get into open position, we're going to do a pass by. One, two, three, four, five. Now, on count five, leaders, I'm going to really squat into it and let my follow know I'm anchoring. I'm something. like, something's going to happen, exactly. but what could this be? And that's when I start pivoting my left arm. Open and open and open and open. Follows, I can continue to maintain this while Kevin maintains the anchor point as I go around him, and I just wait for him to lead me in a rock step, and that's when my swivels finish. So the time that you use to do the swivels is up to you. I usually like to do the swivels until the end of a musical phrase. And then it's just kind of nice. It feels good. And then you can start into your next movement. So we'll be able to demo that in the music demo at the end of the DVD. Thank you. 